What's up, it's your boy Heaven Hollywood back on IE Network. This is the Heaven Hollywood Report. And let's get to it. Shout out to my sponsor in case you didn't know. This is icydk.blog. And we want to talk about Lizzo. Now, Lizzo is facing backlash and possible cancellation because from the disabled community because she used in what they uh, consider is a, a bleached uh, slur in her record, Girls. So Lizzo faced backlash for using a bleached slur in new song, Girls. In that song, she said, you know how in the hip-hop community, says, hey Lizzo, please remove the word spaz from your new song because it's a slur and really offensive to the disabled community from a disappointed fan. So they're saying that the word spaz, you know when they say I'm a spaz out, I believe that's what she uh, sent a song, I'm about to spaz. Dear Lizzo, your song spread the message of self-acceptance. Please don't leave disabled people out by using slurs and lyrics. Self-love should be for everyone. We know you can do better. So she's getting slammed. Spaz is one of the first offensive names many disabled people experience growing up. It'll always make me feel like a frightened teen when I hear it. Ugh, the normally brilliant Lizzo has apparently used the disabled slur in a new song. It's gutting to see someone who is so body positive deciding not to include disabled bodies in that. One thing the word since, well, someone here defending Lizzo saying, since when is this word an insult? I never heard anyone say that it was an insult. But pretty much she's getting dragged by people telling her she needs to remove this word from her song and apologize to the disabled community. Friendly reminder that you're non-disabled and you're jumping down disabled people's throats for being upset that Lizzo used an oblique slur. You are part of the problem. I'm disappointed in Lizzo for using the word spaz on her new song, Girls. There's no excuse for using a bleached insult in a song in 2022 as someone who champions women's plus size, people and other sides, whom society, society treats poorly. I didn't get a chance to finish reading that. But it's basically everyone, I see one person defending Lizzo. Then they're saying, she said in the song, hold, hold on, be. Um, I can't really see what that says. You guys can see it better than me. But it's basically saying I'm about to spaz. All right? It's basically saying, hold my bag, B. Hold on. I am about to spaz. Now, I looked up the word spaz in the hip-hop community in lyrics.com, and it says we found 2,129 lyrics from 115 artists and 49 albums using the word spaz or spaz out in lyrics. Now, here's my take on this whole thing. I do remember that Kanye West, now, now follow me on this, Kanye West back in 2012 or 2015 was slammed for using the word spaz in a new song. I believe that song was that four or five seconds of uh, the song with Rihanna and Paul McCartney. Uh, this, uh, this, the disability, uh, the disabled community came at Kanye West back in 2015. But here's my thing. I have no issue if, if this is offensive to the disabled community. I have no issue. Lizzo to the ponder. However, why is it only, and you saw with Kanye West, why is it only big artists that they come after? All of the, you, you just got the numbers I said, how many times it was used from different artists. We've seen Diablo. Uh, Diablo was one of those artists. Kodak Black was one of those artists. Gucci Mane well, used it. Um, Two Chains used it. Um, Yo Gotti used the, that word, and I'm, I'm sure a whole lot of other people use it. Kanye used it again in Big Brother. So it's like, okay, if it's offensive, but you're picking and choosing, 
if some uh, some small artist that you know is really not going to make a difference, you don't say anything to them. But if it's offensive, it's offensive. Why only the big artists? So now Lizzo's going to have to apologize or else she'll get canceled. But still in all, fat, fuck, funky, saucy Santana doesn't have to apologize to a black woman. Saucy Santana is, is, is twerking his fat, funky self around here saying he's not apologizing for what he said about a black child and a black woman's child. Everybody else, we have to apologize. A black woman has to apologize to them. A black woman, if she says something about the gay community, she would have to apologize. But nobody ever has to apologize to the black woman and black people for, for that concern. Look at this fat fuck. People are sitting here entertaining this garbage. Still haven't apologized for what they said, for what he said about Beyonce and, and her daughter. Okay? But now Lizzo, if she doesn't apologize, they're going to cancel her because now she's upset. Everybody gets so offended. In 2020, now everybody gets offended and everybody has to uh, get apologized to except the African-American. We can get shot down, gunned down, no, without being armed, called the N-word on a daily basis from people. Never see them coming and apologizing. They never have to apologize. They say, oh, I, we was young, you know, Look at Jack Del Rio in, in, in the NFL. Just use a racial slur to a bunch of of, of a, a, a team of guys who he coaches, who not, probably ninety percent black, haven't lost his job. It's ridiculous. If it's offensive, it's offensive, but don't pick and choose. It should be offensive if it's somebody who don't got a lot of money, who, who isn't uh, really known. Why aren't you calling them, bringing them to task? You wait till Lizzo, because Lizzo's on fire right now, and Kanye West is, is, is really known. So you come after them to get an apology, make them remove their, uh, uh, their word from the song. But this freaking saucy Santana and these other people from the alphabet community can say what they want, do what they want, offend whoever they want to offend. They never have to be held accountable. It's your boy Heaven Hollywood for the IE Network. Please let me know how you feel about this down below. The word said, you heard how many times spaz have been used in the hip hop community. It just means they went crazy. They mean anything else by it. But that's the times we're living in now. It's your boy Heaven Hollywood for the IE Network.